called United St. Louis. Here it goes. Hi. I'm here to be baptized as a new Christian. Great. Here's a checklist for admission. Do you want a sprinkle or full water immersion? And before you join, are you a virgin? Do you speak in tongues? Do you believe in healings? And what are your feelings on praise and worship? Decide now between hymns and gospel rap. And which day do you consider to be the true Sabbath? Finally, what do you think happens after the rapture? But be careful. Because if you give me the wrong answer, then you can't come to my church. So before I let you in, you should know that there are tens of thousands of Christian denominations. What are those, you ask, and do they have to do with math? No. <laughs> See, when we disagree doctrinally, we dialogue and debate, then decide to divide and create separate religious groups. And we say that everyone except for ours has been duped, deceived by the devil. Here's a list of heretical examples. You've got your Baptists and your Catholics, your Charismatic Pentecostals, your Anglican, Lutheran, and Wesleyan doctrines, the Coaches, the Seventh-day Adventists, the Latter-day Saints, the liturgical Presbyterians, and don't forget the Episcopalian Church. Okay, that's enough. I am done with this search. It seems like you Christians are missing the whole point. I know I'm new, but I'm convinced your misunderstanding is grievous. The common denominator beneath this big fraction line is Christ Jesus. Don't you know? A house divided against itself cannot stand. Whether the three pigs built it out of sticks, straw, or bricks, on a rock or sand, the house could be small as an anthill or big as the White House. If God didn't build it and ain't keeping it together, then it's going to burn down. And what's this I hear of churches predominated by certain races, either blacks or whites, Hispanics or Asians, with no mixture in between? But it seems you have no problem with mixing your black coffee with white cream. This is ridiculous. <laughs> St. Louis, it is time to make a change that's astronomic. Consider our iconic gateway arch. It's ironic how it's rooted in the ground on two opposite sides, sloping upward, connecting at the top, and bridging the divide. Mm -hmm. At 630 feet, it's the tallest man-made monument in the whole United States. It's nearly touching heaven, and it's pointing to the Creator, who creatively created us to be united together. So whether we weather the hurricane of prejudices with an umbrella that's stitched with forgiving love or loving forgiveness, we must show the world who the real Jesus Christ, whom we all represent, really is.